My name is Sydney F. Cruz Dixon, and I'm a professional genealogist. My Patriot ancestors are that I'm speaking about today are Sarah Seth Hopkins and Dr. John M. Cruz. First of all, the whole reason why I'm talking about both of them is because that they actually met and married. And it's because of their military service that my family is what it is. Um, they married in Le Tre Pour, France um, in 1918 on October 3rd. Uh, and they met at Base Hospital Number 10. She was born and raised in uh, Baltimore, Maryland and he was born and raised in Philadelphia. They were both sent over to France to serve at base hospital number 10. And although I don't know the details of their meeting, um, from what I can see, they actually, he got a promotion on, and was going to have to leave base hospital number 10 on October 4th. And they were married on October 3rd. The whole family laughs about it because their marriage most likely wouldn't have taken place if they hadn't met and married over in France. Um, he was the only son of a widowed mother who had four daughters, three of whom were unmarried. And I, and he was 45, so he was not a spring chicken. She was 29, so the family lore is that she went over there to find a husband. Um, and she was smart enough to know that given his family situation, if they didn't marry there, chances are he would have had a really tough time marrying her if they had gotten stateside. So um, they were married, and shortly after the marriage, she had to come back home um, because she was pregnant. And her first son was born July of 1919. Well, we have often laughed about the fact that um, we would not have wanted to be in the Cruz household when the, uh, the widowed mother and the maiden sisters found out about their brother going off and getting married to somebody that they didn't know. I mean, I'm sure that was quite a surprise. And I have to give my grandmother a lot of credit because I don't necessarily think that um, the first meeting was all warm and fuzzy. I'm sure it was very formal. I'm sure it was uh, appropriate. But I don't know how truly welcoming it was um, because I understand um, from my father and his uncles <clears throat> and my mother that years later there was a certain amount of needling that went on between his you know one of his sisters and and my grandmother and she she don't misunderstand she could definitely hold her own but there was definitely back and forth that went on there None of my family members were career military, but they, there was definitely a history on not only my father's side, but on my mother's side of the military. Um, first of all, Dr. Cruz's father was an, an assistant surgeon in the Civil War. Um, so he, you know, he definitely, we have various artifacts of his. We have his commission, we have my grandfather's commission, um, uh, on my mother's side, we had people that served in the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, and the Civil War. Um, some of the stories more glorious than others, but all of the stories really fascinating. Mm -hmm. I truly believe part of their service is one of the reasons why I'm a professional genealogist. I mean, I heard little bits and pieces of stories, and it's kind of like putting a couple breadcrumbs down, and then there's a gap. And I wanted to fill in those gaps. I was interested. I had always heard they had, uh, my grandparents had met in World War I, 
but I didn't know how and I didn't know where. And it wasn't until I started investigating things and I found it was base hospital number 10. I think the stories that you uncover when you look back in time, when you take the time to look at the records, are so much more fascinating than so much of the fiction that is written nowadays. Um, it, it is courageous, it's spectacular, it's heartbreaking, and it's real. And that's why I'm in this field. You just, you, you can't get better stories than that. So, um, I, I look forward every day to going through the records and seeing what other little detail I'm going to uncover and understand my family, me, um, what traits we have, why we have them, because all of it affects who we are and what we do today. So um, I'm just very grateful that there are the records and the documents and that they're more accessible these days than they have been in the past. But sometimes the most rewarding things is when you really have to go to a lot of work to find something and uncover it. And it's the best treasure hunt you'll ever go on.